I'm going to show you how to obtain each of these values from an electrocardiograph. An ECG or an EKG is a measurement of the heart's electrical activity and we're measuring it using electrodes placed on the outside parts of the body. We're going to have a series of heart rate equations that we need to set up. So the equation is down here. We need to know two things. We need to know the number of beats that are high lit or dark lit and the amount of time that it takes for that to happen. We're going to set the number of beats in the numerator and the change in time in the denominator. We're going to multiply that value by 60 seconds over one minute and it'll cancel out our seconds in the delta t which will leave us with beats per minute. So those are the appropriate units for heart rate. So we need two things. We need to know the number of beats so we're going to go from a QRS peak to a QRS peak that is one, two, three, four. We have four beats and then delta T gives us the change in time that it took for those four beats to occur. We're going to set that up and then multiply that value by 60 seconds over one minute and that'll leave us with our heart rate in beats per minute. This is the same thing, so just quickly, one, two, three, four, five beats, delta T, P, Q, R, S, T, one beat, P, Q, R, S, T, that is two beats, delta T. That's the same thing, one, two, one, two, three beats, delta T. Here we have a P wave, we have a P, Q segment, and then we also have what looks like a bit of the Q wave. We can call this the PQ interval or the PR interval, and delta T will give us its value. Here we have the same thing, and the same thing again. Here we have a QRS complex, the ST segment, and a T wave. We're going to call this the QT interval. We can also measure the peak to peak here and get the QRS complex amplitude. That's going to be in millivolts, and that is on this axis. We have the same example here, delta T and peak to peak. Here we have QRS. And this is T, so this is the ST segment. Delta T will give us its value. Here we have a T wave and a P wave. So that's a Tom and a Pen wave. So this is the TP segment. It's flat, it's a segment. And we're going to call that uh, 0 0.40 three seconds.